Bear hunters in Minnesota are required to submit a tooth from their harvest, and that plays a really critical role with bear management in the state. The root of a bear's tooth has layers of cementum inside, much like the rings of the tree. And you can use that information to learn the age of the animal when it was harvested and reconstruct their reproductive history. Those rings can tell us how many litters of cubs they've had, as well as when they had their first litter of cubs. That's why it's so critical that you don't break the root when you're extracting your tooth. The information from the teeth gives us a statewide look at how bear reproduction can vary across the state. Bears in Minnesota can reproduce as early as three, or as late as six depending on their level of nutrition. On average, bears have 2.7 cubs per litter, which really just means that three cub litters are more common than two. In order to get the age from a tooth, we need to calcify the teeth in an acid solution, mount them on a specimen plate, and then carefully cut the tooth into thin sections with a cryostat. This is a blade for cutting. We try to get into the center of the tooth until we can see the root canal. They're mounted on a slide, stained, and then cover slip so we can look at them under a microscope. Once the slides are stained, we put a cover slip on with a mounting medium or type of glue. We process anywhere from 1,500 to 2,600 teeth every year, depending on the harvest. When we're trying to determine what years females had cubs, we look for lines that are close together as the female is unable to lay down as much cementum the year she's nursing. So looking at this tooth, those two close together lines on the outside show the first year of reproduction for this female bear. There's three lines towards the interior of the tooth. So this is bear reproduced when she was four years old the first time and was five at the time of harvest. So Minnesota is one of the very few states that processes all of their teeth in-house. This allows a super fast turnaround of a few months instead of up to a year with other commercial labs. And this allows us to make up-to-date recommendations for the quota harvest each year. So DNR's goal is to have a resilient bear population. And so we tend to be pretty conservative when we're allocating harvest quotas. The food availability, so acorns, hazelnuts, that sort of thing, really can vary from year to year. The food availability really influences the harvest, high or low, and so those conservative quotas help hedge against over-harvest when those natural foods fail.